Okay, I was gonna do a video on the newer port ROM that I can't, it's like quad something. But he says that there's like issues or something. Vampire Foe made a new way of flashing stock. I have a video and you can click here to watch that video and it will show you how to flash stock. But that video is no longer any good because this way is supposed to actually flash your phone completely stock. Right now I'm using port ROM, the first version that came out. It uh, has the working mod where the flash comes on. Normally the flash doesn't work because Android 2.2 was ported from a different phone, but now it works. I am not stuck by any means right now. I've been having issues with quick boot not rebooting so let's see oh it did it this time it just doesn't look all that clear sorry go to console menu enter type R F S enter It's going to reboot back to recovery. And now we're going to apply to update.zip. And I'll put this link in the description. Now I just got to find it. I need to delete some of these. Full restore stock zip. Menu and then home. It's done. So now we're going to reboot the system. We have the normal Sprint logo, so that's success. There we go. Stock desktop. It's going to make you install an ID. Click install ID. And then just keep hitting continue. Select like the socially connected or whatever one. And as soon as it like says downloading in background, Reboot your phone and it won't install all those crappy apps. And you know what? It doesn't even install apps. You click on the app and it's just a link to the market. To where you can find the app in the market. Right now we can't do anything. And I'm going to show you that we have a stock recovery. Or at least that's what we're supposed to have. Volume down. The voice button. And the power button. Lego. Look at that. That's stock. That is stock recovery right there. Oh, you can't use the menu button. That's right. You got to use the volume up and down. And then you got to hit the voice button. If this is you, if you see this screen, you do not have custom recovery. If you cannot use these buttons, you do not have custom recovery. Hit the voice button. And that's it. We have a stock phone now. And if you watch to the end of this video, this is room is kind of a mess, but I am currently almost done packing everything all my stuff is in boxes and just gotta tape them up and I got some new shoes I'm excited about that my other ones well oh they're outside because I got a muddy the yesterday when I made that video playing in the mud I like them they're a lot I actually feel like I'm stepping on cushion instead of hard ground Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe. Just keep hitting retry until it finally finds a connection. Goodbye. Wait, the video's not over. Install. Agree. Continue. Oh, I wish I had my tripod set up. Come on, come on. Come on, battery. Oh, shit.
Now none of those IDs will be installed. And I'm going to show you all how to root real quick. How to simply, if you have a stock phone and you simply want to add root, hold down, volume down. I'm getting my stand, hold on. Oh, much better. Hold down the camera button, volume down button, and then the power button until you see downloading. Alright, you can go to the binary folder, C, program files, Samsung Electronics, software upgrade, models, binary. I'm going to delete this. Sorry, I didn't have that 10 megabyte tar anymore. You need to download this kernel recovery file. Save it to the desktop. And then we're going to take this and we're going to put it in the binary folder by itself, nothing else there. I have this in my video on how to root the Samsung Transform, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in this video too. This is simply for people that have a stock ROM right now, like I do, and want to add uh, custom recovery and custom kernel. Alright, the software upgrade models binary folder is empty, like it should be, and we're going to take this kernel underscore recovery dot tar 10 megabytes and we're going to drop it in the binary folder and then we're going to run software upgrade and I'm going to connect my phone right now and then I'm going to click next 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 com5 connected next 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 and then next and this will take about mm, a minute I'm not even going fast forward phone's rebooting this should say close When this boots up, we'll have root. That was the easiest way to root your phone. Menu. Settings. About phone. Yep, it's rooted. Cool. Now I can install Titanium Backup and restore my phone. I don't even have to log into my Google account because Titanium Backup does all that for me. <sighs> I love Titanium Backup. Do I say that enough? I don't think I do. Reboot to recovery. You have to unplug it to reboot to recovery. I'm trying to be quiet because my daughter's sleeping. Volume down. Voice button. Camera button. Let go. Should see a different recovery than you saw earlier. Yep, 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 yep. Cool. Oh, I need to put ext4 on here. Oh, no, actually, I need 2.2. I can't stand 2.1. This is going bye bye. <laughs> oh. This video is going to be long. SD card. Updates. Recovery. Nice. Home. Reboot to recovery. Damn, this video shows me flashing stock and then adding root and then going to 2.2. This should be like my featured video. Alright, got a console. EXT4. Whoa. Go to console. EXT, hold down FN and 4 for or R to get 4 and then hit enter. And this is how easy it is. Wait, waiting, waiting, waiting. 
easy waiter. Oh, okay, we've done that. We've done the new recovery. I did the XM trip to make sure I got all the steps here. Froyo RC2. Bam. Now, this video is already long, so I'm not going to wait through all this. I just keep lying to you guys over and over and over again. Reboot to system. You should see that little Apple icon in a minute or two. That's the new sound. We have Froyo in one video went from Android 2.2.1 to stock Android 2.1 then rooted which I didn't have to do to get to well I had to do that to get the custom recovery so that I could apply the Froyo again but this time I'm not going to have flash uh, which kind of sucks hurry up Settings. About phone. 2.2.1. Thank you for watching. And again, please subscribe for more videos like this and videos like that. I'm currently editing the description.